Hi, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today's project was inspired by last Friday's Elizabeth Craft Designs Technique with her Friday with L's <laughs> video called Sparkly Flower Lace Cards. Um, and I wanted to make, so I decided to make a white on white, slightly more complicated version <laughs> of what she did. So I used the poinsettia die, and then I'm using the Moda Scrap Oriental card die. And then later I'm actually going to use the bunch of flowers die as well, all from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Now I have cut one of the oriental corner pieces out of 85 pound white soft finish cardstock and then cut it in half. And you may notice there are sort of um, tabs on those corners because you can um, fold them around to make them into an actual like corner piece. I will cut those tabs off. So my poinsettia die, I cut out two of these larger sort of solid pieces with 85 pound white soft finish cardstock and then one of these smaller pieces, and then this sort of detailed piece and this tiny center, I will cut out of this piece of white soft finish cardstock that I have double-sided adhesive sheet on both sides, because I'm gonna put glitter on one side and then use this the back side as a sticker. Now, to be honest, it didn't work so well, so. <laughs> I think it would have been better off doing this, which was just put an uh, adhesive sheet on one side and then leave the back blank because when I tried to cut it out with my die cut, it didn't go so well, just to be honest. And then I'm using a uh, silk micron glitter in cool diamond. So hopefully you can see I cut the tabs off of those oriental corners and now I'm peeling back the uh, backing off the adhesive side of the A2 sized white, this is a 100 pound cardstock um, piece that I showed in the beginning, and I'm just adhering the corner down to the corner, <laughs> and then I'm going to adhere the second corner to the sort of diagonally opposite corner on this sheet as well, because I'm going to cover this entire piece in the glitter. So I'm going to use this extra sheet of backing, this like brown piece, to uh, really, really press down that die cut onto the adhesive side because I want it to be really, really well adhered to that adhesive so that no glitter gets under it or anything. So the backing sheet makes that easy because it doesn't stick. Okay, so now I'm going to take my glitter and I'm going to just pour it all over the sheet. And this is, it looks white, but it's actually like a clear, but it's like super sparkly and just, I don't know, crazy sparkly. <laughs> I love it. Um, and over the white, it looks like white. So hence my white on white theme. So now I'm just burnishing it down really well with my finger, just by basically rubbing it. I'm rubbing in between all the die cut pieces because there's a lot of intricate openings in that, and then around every other area. And you could hopefully see very briefly there the difference between where it had been burnished and where it hadn't. It really becomes much sparklier when you burnish it. And now here are those two pieces that I cut out of that sort of double-sided it like piece that had adhesive on both sides and it worked fine on the like tiny piece but the really intricate piece I just could not get it to cut all the way through that second um, adhesive backing so I wound up having to kind of pull the whole thing off the backing and now it's sitting on a, on a piece of release sheet it's just so I can get it off <laughs> But I think if I had to do over, as I mentioned, I would just put an adhesive sheet on the front where the glitter was going to go and then and then glue it down as I'm going to do here with like Zig 2A glue pen or something. That would have been probably easier ultimately. It did work, but it was not totally 100% great. So just, you know, if you're going to redo this, I would say don't bother with the, with the adhesive sheet on the back. <laughs> And I have a Gemini, which cuts through pretty much almost everything, and I and it just would not cut that. So I think it's just too thick, generally. Anyway, here, so here I'm going to adhere everything together. And that second solid white piece, I've cut apart to create leaves for the flower. 
Now, technically, this is supposed to be a poinsettia um, for Christmas, but as you can see, it really doesn't have to be. Like, I think especially all white, it looks like just a cool flower. It doesn't necessarily look like a poinsettia. So I use some foam tape to adhere the center into the flower, and now I'm positioning the leaves. I'm going to put this sort of in the middle between the two corner pieces on the super sparkly background. And I'm using six millimeter adhesive to adhere down the leaves to the glitter, which it worked really well. No problem adhering at all with that tape. And I'm a little bit weird about leaf placement, so I keep checking it. Like I put the leaf, put the leaf down and then I'm checking the flower. Is it okay? And put the second leaf down, check the flower. Um, but you know, <laughs> it's just me being weird and anal, I guess. Um, but it worked out. And then I'm gonna put foam tape all around the back of the main flower and pop it up off the whole thing. But of course, in my usual way, as I am making the card, I, I always come up with like ideas as I'm doing it. So I decided, oh wait, I wanna give these leaves some dimension. So I'm gonna roll them a little bit on the end of this uh, paintbrush. And obviously it would have been a lot easier to do had I done it before I taped down the leaves, but I didn't think of it, so I'm doing it now. But if you do want to reproduce a similar card, I would say do it before you adhere the leaves down. And then I decided I needed something extra, so I grabbed some like sheer white organza ribbon and just tied it in a knot, sort of towards the lower left and just kind of tucked it under the flower to give it a little bit of extra something in the corner. But of course, then I couldn't leave well enough when I needed more. So I cut out some flowers out of the bunch of flowers die set. I used the uh, pointy flowers. And I, so I did one large one, and then it, I do wind up doing two of the smaller ones by the end. Because I just thought, I need to add this. Seems a little bit unbalanced. I need to add something more to the upper right of this card. And of course, I had to add glitter to these because we have to have glitter on everything because that's just the point of the whole card, isn't it? To have as much glitter as humanly possible. So I'm using my quickie glue pen and I'm just uh, drawing a dot in the middle and then uh, dumping some glitter on top of that. And then once the glue dries, it'll turn clear. I can burnish it down to make it sparkly again and adhere it down, which I'll do here in a second. So there I'm just burnishing it and I'm wiping it with a Swiffer to get any extra off, extra Swiffer cloth to get the extra glitter off. And now I'm going to adhere it in place, kind of there, using some glue dots. So basically I used regular size glue dots and I just kind of wadded them up so that they fit behind that tiny flower and adhered those down. And they worked also really well on top of the glitter because, you know, glitter can be a little bit tricky to um, adhere stuff on top of. And I thought I was done, but no, I couldn't stop myself. This is like another one where I just kept going and going. So you can see I added a third small flower over there on the left. And then I grabbed some sequins. And these are the Simon Says Stamp Moonshine sequins in assorted sizes. And they are super pretty. They're clear, but yet they're, I don't know, very shiny. There's like a sort of silvery, shiny coating on them. And they're just beautiful. So I'm adhering those down with Ranger Multimedia Matte. And that's basically the completed project. And I thought, you know, I guess my thought originally was like it could be a wedding card because it's all white on white. But it could be like a Mother's Day card or a birthday card if somebody really likes glitter. <laughs> and I thought it was kind of versatile. And then I, my other thought was it'd be really pretty as a Christmas card if you change the glitter from white to like red. I think it'd be gorgeous. So it's a little glittery inspiration today <laughs> and hopefully uh, if you like glitter you are inspired. Thank you so much for watching as always. There is a supply list linked in the video description below and over on my blog. If you like the video I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and as always I love to welcome new subscribers so if you haven't subscribed please do so. And leave me a comment because I love to hear from you guys. It's always super fun. And if you have any suggestions or questions or comments, I love those too. And you can follow me on Instagram at blacksheep303. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day.